have trouble with these uh, town names but anyways I have a couple things that I've noticed about Polish people and Poland itself but first I want to show you guys how I got here Dzień dobry, cześć, and hello today guys this is gonna be the last video from this room for a little while I'm about to go to Poland I'm super excited super nervous and I have basically just been working ever since I graduated college in May and I need some vacation and I need some time off so this is going to be an awesome time for me to see my girlfriend in Poland and also just to travel around and explore places. So yeah, like I said, I'm super nervous and I don't know why I am because I've, I've done this trip like four or five times now. So I'm going to be leaving from DC to Paris and then from Paris to Warsaw. So it should be a good time. So first things first, let's pack and then off to Paris. I'm switching time zones. I gotta go meet me in Paris. show you guys the apartment it's actually Airbnb here's the bathroom Hello. so here's our kitchen so door bathroom kitchen it's not bad uh, TV full table luxurious Can't there's the bad. bed yeah and basically uh, when you look at the Maria to the right there is a uh, this like huge awesome spire. yeah I mean spire but a lot of skyscrapers yeah yeah so a beautiful um view like skyline of yeah. Warsaw yeah we're in a great location right now because I think we're like what five ten minutes away from the tower of culture and science or whatever palace palace palace, palace. the full <laughs> palace whatever of culture and science yeah it's two two minutes away really. So yeah, I think this place costed us $30 USD, so not bad. I mean, it does the job. I mean, we're right in the heart of Warsaw. So now we're going to go on another journey to Lublin. <laughs> a couple hours on a bus. Honestly, I have the weirdest feeling right now. I feel like I never left. It's the oddest thing. I feel like... Feels like home. Yeah, I feel like I never left. I feel like I was always here. It's really weird. One of the things I noticed about Polish people is that they're extremely, extremely punctual. I guess I'm, maybe call me lazy, but I mean, Poles are on time. The bus stops are always, always on time. And, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's pretty interesting. Like, I mean, everything is always on time, exactly. Sorry about the wind, and I'm sorry if I seem awkward, because I'm not used to vlogging at all, honestly. Anyways, we're going to go on to the old town, and I'll tell you guys a couple more things that I noticed. Another thing about Poland is that there's so many churches here. I mean so many even compared to the states there's i'm not saying that's a bad thing either i'm just saying there's a lot there's so many cool colors here in the old town it's just beautiful
speaking of churches, here's another one. And they're always massive and absolutely gorgeous, honestly. So apparently I'm reading here for some fun facts about Jamos is that the oldest pharmacy in Poland was starting started here in 1616 and still operates today. Apparently they have their own pigeons here, uh, their own like special breed or something like that. And it has a lot of styles from the Renaissance era. Era. Where did era. when did this place start? 1400, 1600? 1400. 1400. It's honestly definitely a neat little town, and it seems pretty unique, honestly, too. So here's the old square, and uh, it's, it's beautiful. What else can you say, really? I mean, looks like they just painted all the buildings. Like, all the buildings have, like, this fresh coat on. <laughs> or it's just well taken care of. Yeah, either or. Really beautiful here, though, and I'm happy we went. Yep. So I guess this is the center of the town. This That's is the, the old town. Yeah, this is the main part. And I guess because it's winter, the main part is kind of dead. Like, there's no restaurants in the middle. Oh yeah, this is noon right now. It almost looks like it's either sunset or sunrise. I'm also out of breath because I just walked up the steps. Um, you managed to gain kilograms after five days of staying home. Yeah, too many pierogi. I guess kids are off school because there's a lot of kids here. I've or been they noticing skipped. that. Yeah, <laughs> even in Warsaw, there's a lot of kids walking around. Like, not too many adults, more kids. But I guess it's the thing to do. Like, if I had a place like this to go to every day, I would. Definitely. You would be skipping school. Yeah, I would be. <laughs> something like that but I mean compared to the states it's not in fashion at all but here it's definitely still in fashion so a lot of Polish people will still smoke and that's something that definitely surprises me. So another thing that I noticed about Polish people is that they dress like millionaires I mean dress super super well no matter where you're at like they'll be dressed you know head to toe in the nicest of clothes it's really interesting but I mean they're always dressed on point. Okay, so this is a roll with onions and poppy Zabulash. seeds. Shibulash, right? Mm -hmm. it has poppy seeds and onions on it. Really good. You see this artistic thing? Yeah, a little swiggly. That's an extra 10 zwati for the swiggle. <laughs> Alright, so the place we just ate at... How do you say that? Bohema. Bohema. It was really good. You can find it in the old town. They have a lot of good stuff. I got the venison pierogies and they were really good, really filling. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> Just walking out the stairs. Okay. So another thing that I noticed here is that the ground, this is, this is a weird one, but the ground here, weird. okay, the ground here is really sandy. I don't know, it's just different from where I am, at least in Maryland. There isn't much sand in the ground, but here it's like everywhere is sandy, so I'm sure that causes a lot of issues for uh, like building buildings and things like that. He specializes in construction, so that's his thing. Yeah, I do, I do construction stuff for work 
and it's just something that I noticed. But I'm not sure if this is everywhere in Poland. Obviously, it's more than likely not. It's probably just in this region from Warsaw to Lublin, from Lublin to Zamosh. Zamosh? Zamosh. Zamosh. Oh, yeah, I'm wondering because I don't. I don't know if you know this, but what what are these like things in the trees? Nests? Are like they nests for birds or are they are they weeds? Either I see or. them everywhere. Either or. I think they're weeds. Might, might be. It's either or. Usually. The bell. The bell. I know. <laughs> the bell. <laughs> yeah, this kid actually. We were walking in the store. What store was that? Deutschman or CCC? CCC. CCC. And this kid goes out. And like almost grabs her, and, and the kid in Polish was like, Bow, bow. Mish, mish. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> I was mother, laughing. The mother was like, That's not a bear, that's a lady. Yeah. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, and I was trying to fly in the drone in the old town. I was trying to film there, but there were so many uh, signal interferences, so I don't know if I could. But um, I did what I could, and I think I'm done flying the drone for today. So going off what I said earlier in the restaurant, how I said people will dress like, you know, really well here. Um, people also dress super warm, always wearing coats, <laughs> sweaters, and you'll see people indoors wearing a coat, a sweater, you know, hoodie, and then a coat over it, and then a scarf, and then a hat, and just everything. It's crazy to see people wearing so many layers here because... I would just be sweating. This is all I wear is a hoodie while people are wearing, you know, coats and sweaters under it. It's just, it's weird. I guess we have different temperatures or something. I don't know. All right, guys, so that was it for Zamosh today. And yeah, those were just some of the things that I noticed about Poland so far from my times that I've come here. So we should be traveling around a couple more cities and I think we're gonna be going to Warsaw soon. And I plan to make the Q&A pretty soon. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Dziękujemy. Do widzenia. Yeah.